connecting to cloud server. We're recording. Beth, great. Hey. So, <laughs> welcome. So uh, it's Catherine Hickman again, as always. Love mom. Mom on a mission to encourage folks to be all that God created them to be. And I want you to meet my friend Beth. Um, and I'll give you a little backstory here. I had posted in June a, a post and said, who's written a book? And Beth, and there were several authors that posted, this is what their book was and such. And Beth wrote about a book that she has written. And I would just like today for you to meet Beth and hear about her book. And I have a special um, interest in health and nutrition and have had health challenges before. And Beth was referred to me and helped me um, through those. And so anyway, Beth, will you um, introduce yourself to folks and, and tell them the name of your book and where you're from? Good stuff like that. <laughs> So I'm Beth Sturdivant, and I wrote the book Backyard Secret Exposed, which is available on Amazon. Um, also, I have a website, backyardsecretexposed.com, that gives uh, information about electromagnetic fields, which is one of the reasons why I wrote the book. Um, I'm a mother of two, almost 30-year-old next month, and a 26-year-old. I have one grandbaby who's a year. Uh, right now, I'm living in Florida. And every day I still do things to try to help better me and get me to the finish line with the electromagnetic sickness and the overexposure to chemicals. So that's basically where I'm at. I um, talk to people all over the country all the time um, and try to help them with their nutrition. I am a nutritionist. I'm also an iridologist. I have a diploma in iridology. And I have owned restaurants and was a bail bondsman, a lot of stuff. So that's kind of my background. I've been an entrepreneur my whole life. Awesome. Well, you sure have been a blessing to me. And I know that you're extremely savvy when it comes to the body nutrition and things as such. Um, and you came very, very highly, highly recommended to me by a dear friend. And so, but tell us about the book. Like, who did you write the book for? Well, um, I started, I wrote the book for people that were suffering from electromagnetic sensitivity sickness. One is when this happened to me in 09, um, nobody knew anything about it. So it was kind of like the new kid on the block. Uh, the only thing that you could really find about it was that it did not exist, but I was living through it. So that was uh, a little difficult, especially when you're in the heat of the moment of really, really sick, a lot of pain. So I went on a journey of trying to find uh, environmental doctors especially since I'm not, I've really not been part of uh, going to the doctor through my childhood or, you know, my adult life. So um, I visited 18 doctors, MDs, um, PhDs, <clears throat> had many, many tests, spent over a couple hundred thousand dollars. Um, so when I went to Dallas, Texas with Dr. Ray, William Ray, um, he was the one that diagnosed me with uh, brain damage, which was my frontal lobe, and nervous system damage, integrin system damage, and electromagnetic sickness, extreme edema. And I was retching uh, probably 200 times a day. And the retching is basically a toxic convulsion that's coming from invisible waves. So, AKA, nobody can see them. So they might think you're a little cuckoo when all of a sudden you just start, you know, having a convulsion basically. So that's pretty much why I wrote the book and uh, why I was going to visit MD doctors. Obviously they were environmental because society needed that, not I. So I had to prove myself. 
Absolutely, absolutely. And well, it's just the, you know, writing from your heart to help someone else so they don't have to go that mile or pull them out of, you know, something harsh that they're going through. So what are like some of the key points or takeaways like from your book? Well, one is it tells about uh, basically how I started was I didn't know what was going on. So I didn't even know what EMF meant. That That's how shallow I was with this subject. So as days started going by and uh, I was introduced to the MRS 2000, it's, it's an energy pad that you lay on in 2009. And with that pad, I was given a meter that I could measure electromagnetic fields. So when I would feel something, I would take that meter and measure. So I was feeling wires in the wall that were behind the sheetrock. Um, you know, if you ever been on an escalator or elevator, they're loaded. Cell phones are loaded. Uh, the breaker box in the house is loaded. All dimmer switches are off the chart. Bad. Um, just the TVs, uh, if you have a well pump. Um, I was so bothered that airplanes high in the sky were making me wretch, having that toxic convulsion. Um, one incident I write in the book about my brother was probably 200 feet from me with a, a chainsaw. He was uh, cutting some wood up and I was feeling the vibration from that. That was crazy. And what would happen to me at first is I would swell. My abdomen area would swell like I was nine months pregnant in a matter of minutes. And then my arms would fill up with fluid and my chest would just really so i didn't know if i was going to explode i didn't know what was going on so i started measuring everything in my mom's house because that's where i went to because they were able to cut off electricity and that for me um because the house that i was living in had the transmission power lines behind it and that is what really affected me um the power company came and knocked on my door in October of 2008 to purchase my home. I had no idea why they were purchasing my home, but they had added to those electromagnetic lines out there. So that was the reason, but that's not the reason they told me. So um, that was kind of just like the beginning of where I was trying to figure this out. I was feeling sick, I was feeling nauseated, I had headaches, I couldn't think straight. Um, I was swelling by the minute, so I was basically just losing my mind and having extreme anxiety. Bless your heart. I can't even imagine walking your mile, but clearly you look wonderful today. And, um, and so you just kind of in, in your book, Backyard Secrets Exposed, you kind of share with people your journey and how you got your life back. Is that... Uh, basically, I it's kind of like a journal. Okay. Uh, the chapters are journals. Um, that was the best way for me to write it at that time. Because one, I was still dealing with brain damage. So it's pretty incredible that I was able to write it when I wrote it. Now, I will definitely be writing another book soon because I'm getting to the tail end of this. So through... I finished this book in uh, 2012, mm -hmm. beginning of 2013. I published it in 2013 of October. So a lot's happened. I've learned a lot more. A lot of things are going on that weren't going on back then. So, you know, every day is a learning day and you just have to keep, keep learning and keep gaining knowledge because it changes. Yeah. So basically um, I told Eric, you know, where I went, what I did, you know, dealing with home, dealing with kids. I had businesses. So I put all that in the book. And one reason for that is because a lot of people that are sick have a boyfriend, husband, somebody significantly other. And usually they're the ones that cause you more stress. <laughs> so I want to make sure that I talked about that in the book. 
-hmm. So maybe that I could help somebody that's dealing with somebody that's sick to realize, hey, you're making them more sick by stressing them. Yeah. So a lot of transparency and, uh, and, and probably a lot of lessons about the electromagnetic fields in there too. So right. Outstanding. Outstanding. And do you have a copy of your book you could yeah. share? So, yeah. Can you Back, say it? I can. Backyard Secrets Exposed. Excellent. Yes. Well, thank you. I appreciate. And so again, you you do have a website. Tell us where to find you again. You're, you can find you on Amazon and you have a website. You can purchase the book on Amazon. Mm -hmm. uh, if you do purchase the book on Amazon, please leave a review because that helps other people uh, that are desperately looking for answers. Um, I have my website is the same as the book title, BackyardSecretExposed.com. Uh, there you have a lot of information on there. You can always email me from there. And there's a phone number on there, too, for people to call. And there's a phone number in the book, too. So Outstanding. So cool. Outstanding. Well, thank you, Beth. And, and when, you, when you write your next book, maybe you can come back and we can share that with people, too. <laughs> well, thank you for doing this. This is sweet of you. Oh, it's my pleasure. So, well, God bless. And thanks, everybody, for joining us. We'll pause the recording. Thanks. All right, bye-bye.